It has been all about getting to this stage, and two teams have made it. I'm Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by Stuart Robson. We're just moments away from kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. Stuart, your expectations? Well, Derek, we've got two very good teams here. Both like to play on the front foot. Both have some great individuals. This should be a really entertaining game. I'm looking forward to this one. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo Lloris is the goalkeeper. Hume Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. And the centrepiece of the attack today is Harry Kane. This is what they'll be up against today. Rui Patricio is the keeper. Jean Vertu starts with Brian Cristante in the centre of midfield. And the lead striker today is Tammy Abraham. And the match begins. And it's Harry Kane on the run. Harry Kane! And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Well, opting for the short corner. Cuts it back. Making sure it didn't get past him. Well, I think many would agree Hyung Min Son seems to be at the peak of his powers now. In what way might he contribute today, Stuart? Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Brian Tristante. He would be a bit annoyed to have lost the ball. Lucas, they've chosen to go through Harry Kane, options around him. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Oh, good defending to stop a decent looking attack. Abraham. Can he play it in? However, up a dead end. Reguilon. And a strong tackle. Fabier. Now Harry Kane. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Given away by Tottenham.
Tammy Abraham. Cristante. But it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Son. A creative look about this. Insufficient guile on the crossing front, you've got to say. showing fine vision Lucas Moura can he finish terrific block well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner And short it is. And still looking for space. Corner coming up. Favouring the short one. Well, able to close down the short. Kane. It's always likely to be the goalkeeper's ball. Well, that's not great, is it? There's been a real lack of quality in the game. The passing's been too safe and there hasn't been enough movement from the front players. The recipe for a poor spectacle. Well, the stoppage time situation. One minute here. And there it is, the half-time whistle. Plenty to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins. Pellegrini. Brian Tristante. On the ball, Zaniolo. Abraham. Pellegrini. And fed forwards. Well, even marginally offside is still against the law. Yeah, and he just needed to hold his run for a fraction longer, and he would have been in on goal. Well, the pass not finding its target. Lucas decided to come in from the flank. Will he play it in? Clean challenge. Brian Tristante. And a really single-minded piece of defending to make sure nothing untoward happened. Referees are rightly praised for giving advantage, but when there is no advantage, it has to be a free kick. Well, no booking comes from it, but he's going to have to tread carefully here. Well, I think that's great refereeing. He doesn't want to be throwing cards about willy-nilly. Spurs to make a personnel switch now. Ndombele. to be advised giving the ball away in that position 
Oh, it's in! Spurs have struck first in the final. And how significant could that be in the grand scheme of things here? Well, that was a fairly easy finish in the end, but he still had to take it. He won't mind how they come, though. Underway once more, Tottenham have the lead. Harry Kane. Good looking ball, there could be a chance now. They won't complain about having won the corner and maybe an opportunity to increase their advantage. And a change for Spurs at this juncture. Who can he pick out? Well, front's clear. Fabier. Has a go. Really well hit, but just too much height on it. better two well, they're on the scent of something positive but they took care of the situation defensively Ndombele now Son well, the tackling like that the onus is on the referee to take action potentially well it was apparently a bookable offence well no debate over that one it's a yellow card all day long Here it is now, a substitution. The possession lost, intercepted. A quarter of an hour remaining here. Reguilon. Now Ben Davis. Ndombele. Now Son. Ndombele has eyes for goal. Oh, a smart save. And that keeps them in with a chance. Well, there's still a bit of time left. Can this inspire them to go and get the equaliser? Well, that save has just about kept them in this. But they need to create chances of their own, and quickly, if they're to get a result here. Oh, did so well to deny him. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. So, making the substitution now. Takes on the shorts. Well, not one, Stuart, that's going to live long in the memory. Well, I think the manager might disagree, Derek. Any way you cut it, it's a wasted opportunity.
Well, the final whistle is almost upon us. Tottenham have put so much into the game and they have the lead. Stuart, interested in your thoughts on their overall performance? Well, it's been a tight game, but I... High quality goalkeeping and still they lead. Well, that's a great save. That could be the match-winning stop there. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And he clears the danger. How well, can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? El Shadawi! And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories are being made. Well, just look at those scenes down there, Derek. What a contrast in emotions. Brilliant for the winners, despair for the losers. But overall, the right team won today. Yeah, you can see what it means to this tight-knit team. Real get the chance to exhale and enjoy. They've been brilliant in this competition, and so have the fans. They've really got behind their team. They've played a big part in this win. Just look at those faces in the crowd. Great stuff. Yeah, really a match made in heaven between players and fans. And these celebrations are going to continue for quite some time. And now the players get to relax a bit and enjoy having the pictures taken. Well, these photos will be cherished for years to come, won't they? Certainly ones to show the grandchildren.